Duh. Those enemies are so annoying, I cannot believe it. Today, we're gonna be playing every single Mario games and find the most annoying enemies in every single one of them. Let's go. Super Mario Bros. on the NES doesn't have that many annoying enemies, as most of them just walk left and right endlessly like a bunch of dummies. There's one, however, that is actually way more annoying. The Hammer Bros. is actually the most annoying enemy in this entire game because of how random their hammer throwing pattern is. Sometimes they jump, sometimes they throw hammers, sometimes they jump and throw hammers. Ugh! I find World 8 to be especially annoying because of these guys. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels features the exact same enemies as the previous game, but it does feature more difficult levels. So you bet that if you hated the Hammer Bros. in standard levels, you're gonna hate them even more in a more difficult setting. So yeah, the Hammer Bros. will be my pick here again for the exact same reasons. They are annoying, random, and I don't like hammers that much. Super Mario Bros. 2 has a bunch of interesting enemies, but the most annoying one in this game definitely has to be Fanto. These mask-looking creatures are kinda harmless and are just chilling in their room, but typically their room also contains a key that you actually need to beat a level. So guess what happens when you pick up the key? Well, they follow you around endlessly, trying to destroy you at all costs. They won't leave you alone, they want their key back, and they will do whatever it takes to retrieve it. That's dedication, sure, but that's also pretty annoying. Super Mario Land on the Game Boy features a couple annoying enemies, but I tend to find Bun Bun to be the most annoying one. Bun Bun is a bee that holds spears in his hand and he'll throw them your way when he sees you. Whoa, pretty aggressive there, calm down my dude. The most annoying part is that they sometimes fly so high up that you can't even attack them. You're actually defenseless and have to deal with their shenanigans. Ugh, quite annoying. I think the most annoying enemy in Super Mario Bros. 3 is a bit obvious, as it is actually really popular. It's actually probably looking at you from outside your window right now. The sun! The angry sun! This dude only appears in a few levels, but everybody remembers him because of how annoying he is. Basically, the angry sun follows you for the entire duration of a level and will try to come down and attack you. The levels he's featured in are actually difficult enough as it is, and this dude just makes everything more complicated. Super Mario World's most annoying enemy is actually pretty interesting. Located in the fourth level of the Forest of Illusion, the fish in Lakitu appears at the beginning with a lovely one-up on the hook of a fishing rod. Collecting such a nice gift is really tempting, but if you decide to grab it, well, you're in for one heck of a surprise. A bunch of spinies! So here are your two options. You get teased by a 1-up that you can't collect for the entire duration of the level, or you're stuck with an annoying Lakitu for that entire stage. Damn, both options kinda suck. Super Mario Land 2 has a couple annoying enemies, but the Skeleton Bee is definitely the worst one, because defeating it is not easy. Jumping just won't cut it, as these bees can actually come back to life. Yeah, they move slowly, sure, but they always come in groups, so that makes them super annoying. Welcome to the beautiful world of 3D, with Super Mario 64, and with this third dimension came a new way to annoy the players, throwing them all over the place. Introducing Chukya, aka this purple ball of pain. When Chukya sees you, you better run away, because if he catches you, you're going down. Literally. These guys are usually placed in areas so high up so that he can throw you down, hurt you badly, and waste all of your time because you're gonna have to climb back up. This is pretty annoying. And you know what? Super Mario Sunshine also has someone that throws you all over the place. But the thing is, I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to be an enemy. In Pianta Village, there is a secret area where you have to reach the star without using Flood. And the only way to cross those giant gaps is to talk to these guys. The Chucksters. 
These dudes are super annoying to deal with because they throw you in the direction you are facing. And if you're just a tidbit facing the wrong way, well, you're going down, buddy. This star is probably one of the most annoying ones ever. But if you don't consider the Chucksters to be enemies, well, Cataquacks are actually enemies and are also pretty annoying. So yeah, pick your poison. If you've watched my worst levels in each Mario game video, then you'll be perfectly familiar with what's coming up. New Super Mario Bros. DS features a level that is truly a pain in the butt, and it's World 8-1. Why is this such a painful experience? Well, because throughout the level, you'll constantly get swarmed and attacked by a bunch of crowbirds. These crow-like enemies just never give up. They keep moving back and forth and they charge at you to hurt you. They are annoying. Super Mario Galaxy has one level that always makes me mad because I keep dying over and over again. It's this one and the reason why I die so much is because of those big blocks that move so fast. Tuxbox is their name, crushing you is their game. And a lot of crushing they do, let me tell you. When they move that fast, they are pretty difficult to dodge. And sometimes, well, if you stand too close to the edge, you'll just die randomly because of how the hitbox works. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that these guys are annoying. New Super Mario Bros. Wii has a very annoying bonus level in World 9. The second one, actually. And why is this level so annoying? Well, because you'll always be chased by a cheap chump. Those big purple fish that only want one thing, food. And just to make it clear, you are the food. These guys are invulnerable to a lot of Mario power-ups, so dodging them is what you'll be doing for the entirety of the level, which isn't that fun, actually. You know, New Super Mario Bros. 2 doesn't have particularly annoying enemies that are exclusive to the game, because it just reuses a bunch of classic enemies. So I'm gonna also go with a classic pick. Underwater levels are bad, okay? And it's mostly because of this dude. The blooper. Ugh. Bloopers tend to chase you and try to predict where you'll be swimming just so that you bump into them and lose your cool. And that is why they are so annoying. The sequel to Super Mario Galaxy brought back most of its enemies, but I have to admit that sometimes the classic enemies are the most effective at actually being annoying. The boomerang bro is just like the hammer bro, but it throws boomerangs instead of hammers. And this one simple change is all it takes to be super annoying. Boomerangs move in a different pattern and they come back to the original sender, so you have to dodge them twice. Pretty annoying if you ask me. New Super Mario Bros. U features a level in the soda jungle that just annoys me so much and it's because of that one single enemy, Bramble. This ball with legs just moves left and right, but the way it does is what makes everything so annoying and difficult. It stretches its legs and can hurt you from under or from above. There's only a few spots which are safe when Bramball is there, and you have to make sure to be in those spots, or else you'll be in trouble. After beating Bowser in Super Mario 3D Land, you'll unlock 8 special worlds which are a bunch of remastered versions of previous levels, and lots of them include quite the annoying enemy, the Cosmic Clone Mario. As soon as you enter a stage that features him, you'll see this little cutscene that will show you that you're about to be quite annoyed. Cosmic Clone Mario will mimic your every move and will do the exact same things you did, so there's literally no turning back or else you'll get hurt for sure. There was a Super Mario 64 enemy that no one actually missed that was brought back for Super Mario 3D World. The Bully. Bullies are bad, okay, in real life and in Mario. These dudes cannot be defeated by simply jumping on them. No, you have to slowly push them down and hope they eventually fall down. They are not annoying because they are powerful. No, they're just annoying because, well, it's just annoying to deal with them. And in most of the levels they appear, you actually have to defeat them all to beat the stage. So we are forced to fight them and it's annoying. Nintendo was probably looking for new types of enemies for Super Mario Odyssey and decided that tanks were actually what the Mario franchise needed. They're actually called Sherms, but let's be real, these things are tanks. Tanks shooting bullets at you. They are a bit annoying because in most areas you deal with them, well, you also have to become a tank yourself. 
and this is just slow. The controls are kind of weird too, so yeah, they're just annoying to deal with and annoying to control. Eh. The whole idea behind Bowser's Fury is that at any point during your gameplay, you'll be annoyed by Fury Bowser that will start spitting fire at you and throw stuff your way. Like, that's the whole gimmick. Annoyance! You'll be climbing a tower, enjoying life, and then you hear this music. And all of a sudden, you now have to deal with extra things trying to hurt you. Okay, I have to be honest, this is a concept I really like and this game is fantastic, but I mean truly, Fury Bowser is the most annoying enemy in the game because he comes back every 4 to 5 minutes for the entire duration of the game. So, yeah. <laughs> so, what did you think of my list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as for me, I'll be seeing you in the next one. See ya!